Greetings. I am Adam Alexander Brisbane, the first king of earth. Today, I would like to teach all the grandmasters the new rules for chess. I would like to tell Zbigniew Brzezinski there is a greater world to be had than through strategy. Rather than turning Russia and China against each other for American dominion, I seek a new age of peace. In 2002, I read the Constitution of Earth on the last day of my radio show, the radioactive dinnertime fallout shelter, the day after my brother died. Today, I'm going to teach you chess. My way. First of all, it starts out with the classic rules. If you don't know the classic rules, I will remind you briefly. A pawn can move one or two spaces forward on the first move, and each thereafter is one space, unless there is a player to be taken kitty corner, in which the pawn can take this pawn diagonally. If there is a pawn blocking in front, you cannot take the one in front, only the one diagonal. In my rules, you may also move a third space, one, two, or three on the first move. Now, the rook moves forward and backwards, side to side, as many spaces as he desires, in a cross formation. The knight moves in an L formation, one space to the side and two forward, or two forward and one to the side, in L's and you may take players who reside in the L, such as if I were to take this knight from here. Understand? Now, in my rules, this is the most complicated rule of all. Let's say there was a pawn here and a pawn here. If I take this pawn as a move and my opponent does not take my knight I have now the option to move two moves one to take this pawn two to take this pawn now if my opponent does not take my knight on this move and decides to move this pawn or another player I can move two again because I have taken a player on the second move if I do not take a player on the second move it resets back to classic rules which is one at a time in L formation now the bishop moves in a diagonal as this bishop started out on black I can move diagonally for a move always on black but in my rules if you make it to the other side of the board you have now the option to move to the whites and you will now reside on whites thereafter as a move, you can move one to the side on the opposite side of the board with your bishop. Now, this is the funnest move of all. 
as your queen moves in all directions in classic rules, forward, 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 backward, side to side. It has the abilities of a rook as well as a bishop. The king also does as well, but now has the ability to jump over his own players. So for instance, if this pawn was here, unlike a queen who cannot jump over her own players, the king can. And he also moves as a queen does. But, however, if he is put into check, he is the same the first time. But if he is put into check a second time, he reverts back to classic rules and may only one space to the side each move. Anywhere, in any direction, but only one space, as in classic rules. I have one additional move I'd like to tell you about, which may be the most controversial, but if you've ever played chess a lot, you'll notice that you or your opponent makes a mistake with your queen that you see immediately after how you messed up, in my rules, you now have one take back move with your queen if your opponent has not moved yet. These are the new rules. I call them the bomb rules. And I hope you'll always remember this, and I hope they will go down in history, and all the grandmasters will learn how to play the right way.